Hello and welcome to DevSkiller user interface. My name is Philip, DevSkiller's IT project manager, and I will be your guide today. Here in this interface view, we can see three candidates, John Doe, John Doe 2, and John Doe 3. Each of them has got their status assigned. John Doe is accepted, John Doe 2 is rejected, John Doe 3 is in evaluation because of the type of the test they have taken that requires manual assessment. Here in the user interface, you can see the candidates list. This is the tab where we are right now. And here is the test tab where we will go in just a second. We've got a notification button, help, settings, and your profile. If you ever want to contact DevSkiller support, you can either use the help button or the chat button in the bottom right corner. Now, when you look at a given candidate, not only can you see their name, but also their email, status, all the tests they have taken and their overall score. Now, when we think about all the candidates and the candidate funnel, you can find it here at the very top with all the candidates broken down into their statuses. You can also filter your candidates by status, assigned to, invited by, the score range, candidate tags, the test they have taken, the date range, or simply by name or email. Now we've got the two main sections, candidates and tests. Let's go to the tests section. This is a list of our predefined tests that DevSkiller has created for the user's convenience. You can choose the category. Let's choose C++. And you can see all the C++ predefined tests that we have created with their name, skills, and specific content you can find on the right. Now let's go to my tests. Here you can see your own tests. In this case, you can see video project database test which is active with two people in total, one accepted and one rejected. I can also edit, clone, deactivate or preview this test. Now let's go to create new test. You have three options. You can choose a predefined test. So a test from our catalog, which I've already shown. Skills wizard, when you choose the skills and then our system suggests some ready to use tests, based on the skills chosen, or you can choose the manually select tasks option. For now, let's browse our test catalog. In this case, let's just take the junior PHP developer test. Use. Once you've clicked use this test, it's added to your My Test tab, from which you can click edit. Now, Everything here is customizable. The name and all the sections. In this case, we have a few multi-choice questions, which are easy, medium multi-choice questions, and a highlight programming task. Now, I could easily delete one of them. I could also add a task to this section. I could add a static element, such as markdown or input text field, number field, or photo capture. At the very top, in the settings, you can turn off one direction flow if you want the programmer to be able to come back and edit some of their answers. Plenty of options here. Let's send invitations to this test. John Doe devskiller.com. We want our invitation to be valid not for 14 days, but for seven, so we can change it here. We will tag them test. And now we can invite the candidate. 